everyone, and welcome to On the Spectrum. Tonight we have a special treat. Our floor director, Dylan Trowbridge, is going to do a guitar tutorial on the Nickelback song, Woke Up This Morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Trowbridge. All right. So let's start with tuning. Um, what we're going to, tuning wise, is we're going to keep the guitar in standard E A D G B E. But we're going to have to drop our low E string down two full steps to a C note. So either match the, the 10th fret of the D or the 3rd fret of the A string, more likely. Okay, so that's our tuning. Let's dive into the song. First part is the intro. It's going to sound like this. Let's go through that. We're going to start here with the sixth string palm muted, but we're going to hold, our, we're going to put our pinky on the 10th fret of the D, and our index finger is going to be on the 7th fret of the A string. So the dynamics here are going to be sixth string twice palm muted, then we're going to go hit the D string, then the fifth string, back to the D string. So it goes six string twice D A D. You do that twice. Now between that we're gonna have a few different tail ends. The first tail end is gonna be it's a six string open, indexing your seven on the A string. And our middle finger is going to grab the eighth fret of the D. You get kind of that muddy sound that's on the recording. Okay. Now the second tail end is going to be this cool octave shape. Is index finger's eighth fret on the low E, and our pinky is going to grab the the eleventh fret of the A string. So the key thing in this is to get skip. Um, is just keep this three fret gap in between. Okay, the, next, the third one is it's that same shape down to the third fret of low E and the sixth fret of the A. Okay, so it's like this. Now, on the last time through, we're only going to do half of the riff, just once, and then we're going to end with this. So that is six string palmated twice. Then we're going to grab a B flat power chord on the first fret of the A string, third fret of the D, and pinky on the third fret of the G. Hit it once, and then six string twice again, and then come to that third fret octave on the low E string. Just hit it once. So all together is like slowly. Okay, so that's your entire intro. Now, for the first time playing through this, when we get to the tail ends, you're only gonna hit each, you're gonna, for the first time, you're only gonna hit the tail ends twice. For the other times you're going to do this, you're only going to hit the tail ends once. So you just keep that in mind when you're uh, playing along with it. So eat together it sounds like this. So that's the so that's your intro. Now we're in to the verse. The verse is pretty similar, but we're gonna have a kind of we're gonna end it a little bit differently. So <laughs> 
So you can see it ends differently. So it starts the same way as before. Now the last, now we're gonna end with, which is gonna be a three figure power chord slide from a B flat to C. Once you get to that C, kill it. And then after a couple beats, hit the C power chord twice, but with a low E string open. Pretty short verse, so all together it's. All right, and that's your and that's your verse. Now we get to the pre-chorus. So there's two parts of the pre-chorus here. Let me play the entire thing so you can see how it sounds. Let's take a look at that. We're gonna, it's basically, it's gonna be the first part of the riff, which is once, and then we're gonna have this little figure here. So that is just six string twice, palmated, and we're gonna hammer on to the D string, eight to 10, then hit the six string once, and then hammer on 10 to 12. Now do that four times. Okay, now this is gonna be the, the second part of the pre-chorus is the build-up. It's gonna be just whole notes. This, um, the same octave we did, this is the second tail end of the main riff, 811 on the sixth string. Then a B-flat power chord on the first fret of the A string. Now we're gonna move that same power chord up two frets, but we're gonna palminate it for four bars, chug it on it, so. Now the last couple times you release the palm mutes and that takes us into the chorus. So let me play the entire thing so you can see how it sounds. That takes us into the chorus. The chorus is very simple. Let me play it through real quick so you can see how it sounds. Let's take a look at that. We're gonna start out six string open once. Then we're gonna do a three, a quick little three note chromatic line on the A string. Pick five, hammer on six to seven on the A string. Hit the six string open, then hit the seven on the A string again. Put the vibrato on it, so it's. Then we're gonna do this the exact the two same octaves that we did in the intro. So A and eleven and then down three and six. Now do that twice. Now the last time through, once you get to A and three, you're gonna do that twice. Now you're gonna end on the five on the low E and eight on the A string, whole note, come back to the third fret, hit it and slide down. So the, the entire chorus is. Then we get to the re-intro. Now it's the second half of the main riff. All 
All right, then you go through the verse, pre-chorus and chorus, then you do the re-intro, then we come to the solo. The solo is very cool. It's gonna, let me play the entire thing so you can see how it sounds. Take a look at that. It's basically it's like this. We're gonna start out with the six string open. We do that exact same three note chromatic line we did in the chorus. Now, after that, that's gonna be repeating several times in the, throughout this whole thing. Now, and we're gonna have a phrase on the A string followed by a phrase on the low E. The first phrase on the A string is this. That is just a slide up to the fifth fret of the A string and run down three, one, and zero on the sixth string. So that's the first part. Now the second part is, is gonna be, that is same chromatic line again. Now we're gonna end with six, five, three, zero on the sixth string. Okay, so that's the first phrase. So the whole thing is. Now the second phrase starts the same way. Now we're gonna end, the, ten, the second tail end on the low E is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of going. We're going to end by doing a, that is just a quick bend and release on the 6th string 5th fret, then 3 and 0 on the low E. So it's, so so far we have this. Now the last phrase, you're gonna repeat it twice. So it's like this. All right, so what that is, you start the exact same chromatic line again. Then you're gonna slide up to the fifth fret of the A string. Now come down to the first fret of the A string and then three on the A string and hit the six string open. So it's same chromatic line again. Now we're gonna end with this. And we're gonna have some stretches here. We're gonna have our pinky on the six string seventh fret and I have my index finger behind it because that's the next note. So we're gonna go seven, down to three, and then five on the low E, then zero. And you just repeat that twice. Okay, and now right after right at, after that last five on the low E, you just grab that eight octave on the low E. That takes us into the second half of the pre-chorus. After that, you go through the chorus, and then you're gonna end the song with the re-intro once. And then, just hold on, on and you're gonna end on an open C power chord. That is six string open, fifth string, third fret, and five on the D and G. All right, so that's pretty much the entire song. So. So one of the key tricks when I learned this is that um, I developed a little bit of technique to get my pinky involved, especially especially in some of these octave shapes. So so I I would say recommend getting getting used to their pinky when you play along, so you can play along with the song very nicely. So that's pretty much the entire song. So that's pretty much it.
so there's two separate guitar parts. The first guitar was uh, standard tuning with a drop with a low C. Now, guitar two, this is where Ryan Peake does, this is um, standard drop C. So what it is, the guitar is tuned down a whole step, and then on top of that, drop D. All right, so for guitar two, it's gonna be pretty much the same parts, but just moved up a whole step. So it's six string twice palmated, grab the four string 12th fret, fifth string ninth fret, So for guitar one, we're going to go guitar two. For Ryan Peak, it's going to be sixth string twice palmated, fifth string twelfth fret, fifth string ninth fret, back to the fourth string tenth twelfth fret, twice. Now the second tail, now the tail ends, tail ends here are going to be sixth string open, fifth string tenth, fifth string ninth fret, fourth string tenth fret. Okay. Then repeat the riff again. Now the tail ends heat on the top three strings. We're gonna bar just the top three strings at the eighth fret. The second one, and then down to the third fret. Then a C, C to F five. Okay, so you do that twice. Alright, so it's like before. Now the, when we get to the verse, guitar two is the exact same thing. Now C to a D power chord slide, then a top three strings, and then open D power chord twice. Now the verse, is, the pre chorus is, is gonna be this. So it's C string twice palmated, same riff. Now hammer on four string 10 to 12. Hammer on 12 to 14 on the four string. Do that twice, four, three times. Okay, now the chord, now the build up is just um, B flat, C, then palm me on the open top three strings. Chug. Now the chorus is six string open, chromatic line seven, eight, nine. Six string open, fifth string, ninth fret, vibrato. Padded power chord, eighth fret, down to the third fret, three times, twice. Now the second, the last time you're gonna do, when you're gonna do eight and three, twice. Whole note fifth fret, hit the third fret once, slide down. Then you do the verse, re-intro, uh, re verse, chorus, re-intro. Now the solo is pretty similar to the chorus, so we're gonna do that three note chromatic line on the A string. Now we're gonna slide to seven on the A, run down five to three. Chromatic line again. Then same tail ends on the low E. Chromatic line again. Then seven, five, three on the A string. Cr open. Then same bend and release. Then the chromatic line again. Slide to seven. Then three, five on the A string. Open, six string. Chromatic line again. Then seven, three, five on the low E. Do that twice, then you go through the pre chorus again. Then you go through the chorus, then the main then you do the outro, which is the re-intro, once. 
so that's guitar two. So that's pretty much the entire tune. So that's two separate guitar parts. So you can decide which guitar you want to go with. Uh, Chad Kroger or Ryan Peak. Uh, a lot of times I see really are uh, Ryan Peak. Um, I figure out all of Chad's parts by ear. So yeah, so I recommend um, you could decide either want to go with Ryan Peak or you can go Chad Kroger on this on this one. All right, so that's pretty much the entire song. So yeah. Turn down and not to spread All I wanted it, I made all this I wanted it, I wanted this I made it, I wanted this I've been a loser all my life and not about to change Feeling like it doesn't go about a major scene Every woman on the planet who could do with this All I wanted it, I made all this I wanted it Morning. 